You know, who would have thought being stuck in a time loop would make things feel really re repetitive? I mean, there are some nights I wake up I wish I didn't have stared it really in depthly at that statue. But then again, that would mean I would be permanently burnt to a crisp, and I don't think any explorer wants to go out that way. Even if I am new off the training grounds. Oh well, back to the same old, same old. We still got stuff at Brutal Hollow to discover, and then there's still, you know, the twins and the bramble, which I feel like I'm regretting wanting to go explore those places. Ash Twins, because I don't really want to get up close and impersonal with uh, the thing that has been constantly killing me these past several cycles. Well, mostly. And the Bramble, just because from the stories I've heard about that place and the things I've seen regarding it, it's a pretty terrifying place to go to. The Nomai didn't seem to like being there. Uh, Feldspar, they disappeared since going there. There's been bits and pieces all over the place, even in our own little Timber Hearth paradise, as well as Giant's Deep. Just, it's a weird and crazy place to explore. Ah, but there's still the matter of the forge inside the city. Oh, uh oh, oh! Ooh, careful, careful, don't want to crash almost immediately. Alright, so we still got the forge in the city, we still got the tower I need to discover, as well as... Well, well, that moon has been flying around all over the place, and it looks like there might be something to explore in there. So, I want to give that a look before this cycle ends, at least. So in the meantime, I need to find a way into the inner crust of Brutal Hollow. If I can find the cannon, that would be great. Maybe I should get a little, little bit more altitude to see where the cannon would be located. I'm probably even going on the wrong side of the planet. Little probe, what do you see? You're seeing too far out in the space. Well, there's their escape pod. So the cannon has to be around here somewhere. Either that or on the opposite end of the planet, but I haven't seen it. And I doubt I could fit the ship into there. Uh, actually, it might be a tight squeeze, but I think I might be able to do it. All right, just ease, ease yourself in. Just ease, ease. Uh-oh, tight fit, tight fit. There we go. All right, finally under the surface, and of course there were holes already made from the meteor impacts. Just my luck. All right, next business. Oh, there's the cannon anyways. The city. This is probably going to be a really stupid thing for me to attempt, and it's a good thing that I'm probably going to die this cycle, because at the way I'm gonna have my ship be, Slate's gonna get very angry at me. Ooh. I also need to be super careful that the chunk of my ship doesn't go flying into the black hole. I really don't want to go chasing after it and having to go and fly it all the way back here. Alright, let us... Let's see what's this. Get the forge controls. Let's bring the forge up. Where'd that having the sphere put down there where the forge is located means bringing it up? I feel like the Nomai should have had these controls reversed. Maybe that's just me. Where the transceiver is for the 
teleporter up there. So, in the, until I can figure it out, I feel like this will be a much more direct route. Alright, just need to be super careful not to fall into the black hole. Come on, give it power! Give it power! Uh-oh. Uh, go up. There we go. Alright. Ease it in. Ease it. Uh-oh. Nope. Nope. Ease. Alright. There we go. Level ourselves out. I wish there was a top camera for my ship. This would make the things so much easier. Uh. Mm. Oh. Careful, careful. Uh. I can't believe it. It actually worked. If I can just... I want to not go tumbling down into the black hole. I need to make sure that my ship exit port is at least on the tile. Huh. Uh oh. Nope. Come on, get it down there. enough to stay up here. Black Hole Forge to the left. Uh. And that is called the Hunter Method. I'd like to see Feldspar pull off something like that. They'd never be able to do it. Alright, ship is sticking pretty firm, so I think I can head into the forge. Ugh. Ugh, I can't imagine what this thing would look like down in the black hole when they were doing their work. Hmm. Peculiar. Looks like a map, but I've never seen a celestial body like this before. This looks like Brittle Hollow. Oh, alignment 4, Brittle Hollow. Alignment 3, Timber Hearth. Alignment 2, the Hourglass Twins. Alignment 1, the Sun? Why would anyone want to align something with the Sun itself? And... Alignment 5, Giant's Deep. But what, are the, what was aligning this? Where am I taking this first Black Hole Core, and where am I taking the remaining cores once they are ready? All the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, Poke, Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. The white hole cores are for the six warp receivers. Each warp tower leads to a different planet, so that will be a greater pain in your cervical spine. Yara knows the exact locations. Hmm. I wonder which of the forge workers is this. The statue that's not activated. So, I wonder why they didn't link up with it. Maybe they didn't have the thing fixed in time. Because if I remember right, there were only like three masks that were activated at the Ash Twin. So, from what I can gather from these readings, I'm guessing the body laying over there is probably Poke. Makes the most sense. Seems like they were the one that would stay behind while the others left to deliver those cores. Clary and Root kindly tune the alignments on each black hole core as I finish them. The schematic on the floor shows the warp tower alignments with which astral body. To speed further de deliveries to the Ash Twin, I've 
tune the first black hole core to activate when its warp tower aligns with Brittle Hollow. And before anyone comments, yes, I'm aware that this reduces the distance between Yaro and me. The schematic shows the six towers on Ash Twin are being tuned to only five alignments. Is there a mistake? No, that's correct. For these alignments, we've dedicated the to treat the Hourglass Twins as a single astral body. If it helps, you can imagine the Hourglass Twins are aligned with themselves. Have you seen Pogue's tower designs in the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin? They clarify each tower's warp destination. Hmm. Well, if I ever decide to make my way to Giant Steve, or no, not Giant Steve, the Ash Twins, I'm definitely going to want to go check out this High Energy Lab they keep talking about. Feels like I d would make a lot of discoveries about all these warp core technologies and maybe a location of this Ash Twin project. Outside of those uh, viewing pools, at least. Speaking of the Ash Twin project. Ugh. That seems to be everything inside the forge. Not very forgey for a forge. I don't know. Maybe the Nomai's term for a forge is different from a Harthian's. Uh, view of what it would be like. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed at the heart of the Ash Twin project. I'm retrieved, love. Everyone on Ash Twin is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. Pogue is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Seems like there's a little bit of discourse for the Forge workers. Can't seem to... Uh come to a conclusion if it, this core was ready or not. Maybe that's why only three masks have, have been activated. It may not have, have given off enough power to activate the rest of them. I'm still trying to figure out who has ownership of this final mask. Because we know both me and Gavro have one, but who's the third mask owner? Alright, well, that takes care of the forge at least. A discovery I'm pretty sure no other Harthian has been able to make. I'm quite proud of myself for that, even if I do feel a little selfish. Now, I probably should get off here before I go plummeting into the black hole itself. And judging by this, this must be the receiver tower, but I don't know where... Well, they said they, something about the... The twins house the transmitters to these warp locations, and if I want to learn more about what these things are and how to access them, I'm going to need to go to some sort of lab that's located on the planet itself. This is the... This is the tower. The ones that got destroyed, but how would one be able to get up into the forge itself? accidentally get myself stuck, but it doesn't look like there's any way to get out of here. I'm not seeing anything, and that's pulling me out, but I don't see a way to get in. Alright. Well, I know a way up here, so if I ever want to go exploring in there, I can feel free to do so myself. For now, I really don't want to take these secrets to the grave with me, just yet at least. There's still so much to discover here. All right. Gravity attachments detach. Uh, there we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oof. Whoa. Slate would be so angry at me for the way I've been abusing this poor ship. Pull up. Pull up. Uh, we're stuck in the tethers. There we go. Woo! Whoa! 
That was close. I would have had an expressway into the black hole itself. So I need to get out of here. You know what? I want to make a note of this. Put you up there. Surface integrity is only 16%. I'll have that as a frame of reference. If that thing goes falling into the black hole, I need to chase after it immediately. It's my only chance of getting in there before the supernova hits. In the meantime, there's Hollow's Lantern, and it looks like there is a way to land on it. Speaking of landing, the gravity on this thing is starting to get a little strong. I don't know if that just means the black hole's just been getting more powerful as time goes on, or what? I need to discover what's going on inside here. I think that's the volcano that I need to go to. Yes. And it looks like there is a small island I can land on. Easy. 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 thing has such a fast rotation it's hard to calculate for it. Artificial gravity has been damaged, porthole has been damaged. Oof. Surface integrity is only 16%. Hopefully it still stay together. Ah, there we go, much better. What else was damaged? Porthole is damaged and surface integrity is 8%. Uh, hopefully the surface integrity will be able to keep together for the short amount of time we're going to spend here. Uh, I'm a little worried. My ship is in quite a peculiar state. Okay, it's rocking back. Alright. Now the million uh, yen question. Which part of the planet was that location in? I guess we'll try this volcano first. Ah, oh, first try. Please. I knew there was something in here. And I feel very proud that I was able to discover it. Timber Hearth Projection Stone. Friends in the Timber Hearth Mines, the latest type of ore you sent us survived the longest in direct heat. Can you send more of the same additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability, and our forge has already burned through everything you sent. We'll deliver more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ash Twins Project Protective Shell. My gratitude. I imagine we'll also have an updated estimate soon as to how much is needed to seal off the Ash Twin Project. Will it be more than we initially thought? It will be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Yes, the idea of an encasement that supernova proof, however briefly, has kindled my curiosity. Hmm. If I should just wrap myself up in all that ore to be supernova proof, albeit only briefly, but you know, still better than nothing. So, the Nomai were actually on my home planet. Some very peculiar looking ore kind of reminds me of the ore that was inside the training grounds for my Zero-G training. Could that be what they've been mining out my entire planet for? I'll have to explore that at some point. In the meantime, I probably should get out of here before burning to a crisp. Before I end up burning to a crisp another way. Oop. All right, let's get to the ship. And the scout's still on Brittle Hollow, so I might as well go park my ship over there and just ride the the chunk of planet that goes into the black hole, so I know when the perfect time to go explore that tower is. And lift off.
Like the quantum grove's still there. I'll just land right on the very top of the tower and just wait it out. Easy. There we go. Uh. You know, with all this flying around and exploring and dying and stuff, it kind of just feels nice to just sit back, relax, and enjoy seeing everything just float on by. Maybe maybe I'll just take a little nap while I wait. I mean, it doesn't look like my hull's going to rupture immediately. Or maybe not, because it looks like we're going for a little bit of a ride. All right. Let's do this. Oop. Wow. Seeing Dark Bramble go flying by, it's honestly quite terrifying. Speaking of terrifying, it's going to be pretty terrifying if I don't find my scout soon. There it is. I'm surprised it got all the way over there in the, what, second that we were apart? Then again, from the discovery about how there's a small time interval from when things go through the black hole out. Ooh. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Oh. The crystal broken again? Yes. This thing's so fragile. Ah, there we go. Let's discover what is going on. Is that the sun? Is that the... Oh, that's Giant Seed. There's the Quantum Moon. I was about to say, which body is that? I wasn't seeing any lightning, so I didn't know if that was Giant Deep or if that was the moon itself, and it was just ridiculously close to me. Alright. Let's finish reading where I was so rudely left off. If I can find the scroll. Not seeing any projection things. Ah, there's a scroll. Alright, and I think the scroll slot was up here. Yeah, there are two of them. Here for your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, you're almost prepared to set off on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but to honor the members of the clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to the star system, were stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no communication between the two groups of survivors. No, I looked upwards from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the Quantum Moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the Quantum Moon died before we discovered how to make this journey. When you reach the Quantum Moon, Call these Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. So this quantum moon visitation was like a rite of passage for the Nomai, it seems. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you have completed your preparations on Giant's Deeps and ready to depart for the quantum moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me, as many of our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the Quantum Moon, but remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the Moon's North Pole. Be curious on your journey. Hmm. Well, the Solanum character went to the moon, judging by what her ship said. 
That can only mean that... There might still be a Nomai there. Or at least discover her recordings about the Quantum Moon. And I need to... Also visit Giant's Deep once again. Everything always just comes about the Giant's Deep because apparently there was a training ground for people visiting the Quantum Moon. As well as discovering now that the Quantum Moon has a sixth location, it just doesn't visit every single celestial body out here. But also the fact that I need to have the shrine apparently that the Nome I built on the very northern part of the moon itself. At least this run, I'm finally getting some answers to the questions I've been having. Whenever I decide to go back to Giant's Deep for the multitude of reasons, well, at least I have a way to go forward. <sighs> well, judging by the look of the sun, I don't have much time left. At least... At least this version of me is going out knowing that I've made a lot of discoveries to those burning questions I've been having. Hopefully this passed down knowledge will, you know, be enough for future cycles. Well, it's been fun.